Hi everyone, uh, so I'm Shelley Ellsworth Spink and I'm the VP for International Education here and uh, this uh, is the start of what we're hoping will be a new kind of video series of short videos uh, with me doing some interviews with some of our staff in international education so we can kind of get to know each other a little bit more and just kind of share some of our background and experiences. And also it might be a chance for us to communicate even uh, beyond our um, about, beyond international education so that others can get to know a little bit more about uh, the work that we do. So my first guest today, and I'm so thrilled that she agreed to be the first guest, is Francine. Francine um, is an international student advisor who works out of the Cornwall campus, and she's part of the international student advisor team. So as you may know, we have international student advisors um, on each campus. We have two in Kingston. Uh, Francine is the ISA who works out of Cornwall and then we have an ISA who works out of Brockville as well. So I put together a couple of different questions to uh, get to know Francine a little bit more. And the first one is, um, Francine, if you could just tell us a little bit about your, your background and your experiences that you think have prepared you for your, the role that you're in right now as a, an ISA at, at St. Lawrence College. Well, um, I think I have um, a BA in psychology, so I think that's certainly helped. But Mostly, I think it's getting out there and um, having that experience of living abroad, um, traveling, that sort of thing. Just knowing what it's like to be somewhere else, be away from your friends and family, have to start a new life somewhere. And uh, so I, I think just, you know, having that, have been through that and being able to help students who are also going through the same thing. So I think that's certainly helped. And just getting to know people from different cultures over the years and it's just I think it's taught me to be a lot more accepting and I really enjoy working with people from different backgrounds so I think that's really helped as well. Great so um, so you talked about you know how your background kind of um, maps on to the work that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis can you tell us a little bit about what you would say is like your most satisfying part of your 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 role right now as an ISA what's the most satisfying part? I think it's convocation. Um, when I, you know, see the students um, right at the end, and and I got to know them, so I've known a lot of them for two years, and I've seen them, you know, from when they get there, and they're, you know, maybe scared or unsure, and then all of a sudden you see them at the end, and you know, they've just grown, and you know, I feel like. I played a small part in their success at SLC and in Canada. So for sure, that is um, definitely the most uh, exciting part of the role, I think. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think, um, you know, the first time that I went to an SLC convocation a few years ago, it was just, I was overwhelmed with how magical it is. It, it really is. I've been to a lot of other convocations at other schools, but I think you're right. Our convocation, not only is it just like meaningful for any student who's graduating, meaningful for a student who's come from a different part of the world. But I think it's it's just really special at St. Lawrence because, you know, we have students who um, who just appreciate each other so much at our ceremonies. And when their families are there, that is just wild, you know, and it just kind of layers in that excitement that you get that I think is just really, really um, a special thing about, about the college. So the last question I have for you is, um, what, uh, what motivates and inspires you in your work as an international educator, as an international education professional? Well, again, sort of going back, I guess, to my experiences abroad and, um, and I really truly believe, you know, that it's such a great opportunity to be able to go abroad, whether it's studying or working or traveling. So, um, so the fact that these students can come from all over and come here to Canada and just have that experience, I think it, it, you know, it just broadens their horizons. It, it makes them see the world in a different way. Um, they get um, just a lot more. I think they build on their skills and their acceptance of others. And I just really believe that having that global experience is so important. And looking forward into you know their career, I think that's going to be a great thing for them as well. Whether they stay in Canada or they go back home, I think having that experience is always going to be a very positive thing and look really great um, on their resumes and just help them as a person too. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I think it, uh, you know, it, it goes both ways, right? I think that uh, we as 
an entire community benefit from from every student who comes from around the world and joins on our campuses. Uh, and in, insofar as they they get that satisfaction, uh, and you do as well, working with them, I think we're all we all benefit from having that kind of a global community for sure. Well, thank you so much, Francine, for your time today. Appreciate it, and it was uh, really great to get to know you a little bit more. Thanks. Thank you, Shelley. <laughs>